This is your Pacific Pulse. I'm Marine Corporal Max Gargas. In Okinawa, Marines with Lima Company 3rd Battalion 3rd Marines conducted an air assault at Ishima. Marines honed their tactical skills while rapidly inserting into an austere environment, demonstrating their ability to quickly seize and defend key maritime terrain in the Indo-Pacific region. In Alaska, paratroopers of the 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team 25th Infantry Division Spartan Brigade began a six-month-long study using wearable technology to study the resiliency of soldiers operating in an Arctic environment. Using adjustable wrist straps, the study captures biometric data on each participant spent throughout the workday and while they're sleeping, providing an analysis of their exertion, heart rate behavior, and sleep quality, all of which is used to determine overall strain and recovery. And in Japan, the U.S. and Japanese Coast Guards concluded a joint law enforcement exercise in the Philippine Sea, furthering capabilities in performing maritime law enforcement missions. This has been your Pacific Pulse. Thanks for listening. Fantasy Island. You're, 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 you're tuned in to AFN. Your life is about to change forever. Issues right here on the Kanto Kickstart. We have Leslie Valencia here from Yukota FSS Marketing here to talk about some happenings at ANRFC, right? Yes. So every month, ANFRC offers different classes to help the community. For example, they have the Well Built in Wednesdays, and every week they teach people how to spend their money money wisely. And you can learn simple tips to secure your strong financial future. So if you think you need to just like learn how to invest or save, this is a great class for you. They talk about um, financial readiness, and they just um, talk about everything that you need to know to actually just be using your money how you're supposed to. Yeah, I like the name of that too. It, it sounds better than saving money or like financial whatever, like wealth building. Yes, that sounds and you can ask questions. Like it's not like just like the instructor talking and talking to you. Yeah. can engage and actually let them know like, oh, if, even if you want to talk to them like on the side, they'll help you. Like, okay, let me, I, I don't feel comfortable talking about this in front of everybody there. They'll, they'll help you on their own. So awesome. That's a, a, a good opportunity. And also something else happening at the NFRC is they have the class um, tips for teaching English and this is I think this is really good for people that just got here because usually we come here as dependents and we want to look for a job and it's hard to find a job but teaching English here is always an option so if you're thinking about teaching English make sure to stop by this class this is happening on Monday March 8th because they give you a lot of tips and tricks to teach um, English to Japanese nationals so it's a great opportunity yeah I actually um, used to do that online before I joined the Navy. Oh, interesting. Um, so can confirm. It's uh, it's really good. It's a really good experience mm-hmm. and just such a cool thing to do. Um, I, I kind of want to do it for Japanese now, too, the other way around, you know? Mm-hmm. But um, anyways, that brings us to the next one, right? Yes. The last class we're going to be talking about at ANFRC is the Japanese Customs and Courtesies. And this class is recommended for all newcomers in Yokota, but it, it, it can be taken by anyone, really. In this class, you um, will learn Japanese etiquette. For example, they teach you how to use chopsticks and when you're what to do when you arrive to a restaurant or like just things to do and not to do on base because sometimes when we're in a different country we really don't know like what to expect and like what are their customs and of course their courtesy so just to be mindful of their traditions and stuff it's good to have a background information so if you want to participate the next available one will be on monday march 22nd yeah yeah and you know we're still ambassadors here of our own country um even though we live here long term (laughs) so keep that in mind but Uh, The Arts and Crafts Center has something going on as well, right? Yes, I just want to say this as a reminder because the Arts and Crafts Center will be having their digital camera basics class next Saturday, March 6th, and it's only $35 per person. And all you need is a digital camera and your SD card, and if you want to master your camera settings, make sure to participate because you learn a lot from this class. So make sure that you run to the Arts and Crafts Center today and make your reservation for that class. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. It's always great to have you on the show. Thank you. I really love being here. And don't forget that if you need any information, if you want to learn more about the events that we talk about, if you want to know know about others that we have going on on base, you can visit yokotafss.com or you can follow us on Facebook. And we also post about all the important events on all the FSS facilities. Absolutely. Well, for now, we're going to take it back into the music. Here's Some Nights by Fun. Here's your weather. 845 on Friday, February 26th here in Fusa, Japan. It's 45 degrees out with a high of 54 and a low of 34. That weather update is brought to you by the Okoda weather team. And for your exchange rate, one U.S. dollar is going to get you 103 yen according to the DOD.